In this section, we're going to be introducing the concept of continuity and what it means for a function to be continuous at a given point. <clears throat> so with that in mind, let's go ahead and start with a definition. Suppose that you have a function, say let y be equal to f of x, and we say f is continuous at a point, and we'll refer to that point as A, continuous at a point A, if the limit as x approaches A of f of x is equal to f of A. So this is what it means to be continuous at a given point. Now this is actually several different statements and we're going to break those statements down. Now you notice that on the left hand side what we have is a limit as x approaches a of f of x and on the right hand side what we have is simply a plugged into a function. So another way of saying this is that if the direct substitution property works then the function is continuous at a given point. So what we have here is really three statements. So those three statements are, first off, that the function is actually defined at that point. So what we're saying is that f of a actually exists. The second thing that we're saying here is that the limit as x approaches a of f of x also exists. Now even that statement right there can be broken down further by saying the fact that that means that the left hand limit exists the right-hand limit exists, and those two limits are equal to each other. In addition to the statement of uh, existence, we're also saying that these two quantities are equal to each other. So a limit as x approaches a of f of x is actually equal to f of a. Now with those things in mind, we can also define what it means for a function to be continuous on a given interval. We'll say that f is continuous on an open interval i if f is continuous at every point contained within the interval i. Now it's going to work a little bit differently for closed intervals because for closed intervals we need that it's continuous at the endpoints. Now continuous at an endpoint isn't necessarily the same thing as continuous at a point, so we're going to define the difference between those in one of our later videos.